This is interesting here too, this chalice. Several different things that are going on at once. Um, started from a thumbnail piece from that I got from a Macna. Jeez, I think in like 2010. But so anyways, it's growth down here. It's coming in contact with this hammer coral. It is not winning that battle. It's growth over here. It came in contact with the Spongiotes. And the Spongiotes is not winning that battle. And here it will be in a battle with this anemone, of which it will likely lose that part that was growing all across the rock. And then on this section, for some reason, it's like in the old video game Tron with the two bikes that would go side by side and create a wall behind it. They were trying to get each other to run into each other. So right here, it's doing that with another Spongiotes over there. See where he's kind of on the underside and the Spongiotes is trying to grow over it. So this guy has been finicky in the past um, about its growth. It grows very vigorously but it seems to get hurt easily and then retract way back, but it has not done that in quite some time. So maybe I need to chip some of this away, which is tricky too, because it doesn't chip away that well, like a Monopora Capricornus. It doesn't, doesn't do that very effectively. The skeleton's a little funky and the flesh is a little difficult to tear. So, and I don't know, maybe a scissors, but that might cause more harm than good. I don't know, hey, throw it at me if you have a good idea for how to shore them up across the bottom let me know because i think if i just let them grow unfettered something bad is likely to happen or just leave it alone and leave it to its own devices who knows